Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to this video. It's been a while since I made two videos in one day, but there's been an update to Google Anti-Gravity, and I think people want to know about it, so I'm just going to talk about it quickly. So this is actually an update from two days ago, but you can see here, agent skills have been introduced to Anti-Gravity, and I'm going to show you exactly how they work and how you can use them in your project, as well as quite a novel way of using them that you've probably never even thought of. So let's just jump into it. Okay guys, so basically what you do is you go on Google, you type in agent skills anti-gravity and the first result should be this one right here. Now, the way these work, you can see where skills live. So they need to be inside your workspace root, inside a dot agent folder, inside a skills folder, inside another skills folder for some reason, and then you just add a skills.md. So let me just show you what this looks like inside anti-gravity. So you make a dot agent folder. So let's just delete this actually so that you can see this from kind of scratch, right? So let me just delete this folder. I don't know why that didn't delete. Oh, because it was deleting the subfolders. So let's just delete all these folders. You want to press plus folder and put dot agent, right? And then let's just go back here. So this is now skills. So make another one called skills and then make another one called front end skills, for example. And then you can see we have the same folder structure that it is expecting here, right? Hey guys, before continuing with the video, a quick word from our sponsor, me. This is Harbor SEO, which in my opinion is the most powerful AI SEO content generator in the world. And it's currently completely free to use. All you have to do is go to harborseo.ai, make an account, press generate, and you'll have 50,000 free tokens waiting for you. Not only do we have infographics inside Harbor now, branded infographics, we also have other features like the link beta, which will create link bait pages, which can bring you thousands of users every month, as well as backlinks on tap. And if, this, if that's not enough for you guys, we also have a three month, 50% off for manual link building. So if you just go to the claim option right here, you can choose how many backlinks you want every single month, and we will manually build every single backlink so that in the age of AI SEO in 2026, you can get ahead of the competition. All you do is, let's say you just want a small link building package because you're just getting started. So we put it on 375, press get started right here, and then put half price links as the discount code. And you can see 187 euros a month for three months. Once you've filled in all of your details, everything is automatic. We'll contact you. We'll set up a call and then you can view your campaign and see the backlinks and the DR and everything here on the side. So you can understand what is going on with your link building campaign. Thanks for your attention, guys. Let's jump back into the content. And then from here, you just make the first skill, right? So this time you press file instead of folder. And we'll call this from, actually, we'll call this nano banana skill dot MD. Now, why would I want a nano banana skill when this already has nano banana inside it? If you don't know, you can make nano banana images with anti-gravity. However, one of the biggest problems with that is that the usage is extremely low. You will probably only get one to two generations or like five to 10 generations per week on anti-gravity, right? So I wanted to use nano banana in my project. So I made a nano banana skill. So how did I make a nano banana skill? Well, if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see that the skills.md basically has this structure right here, right? So you can grab this structure Right, and I'll just go on chat GPT and you can make your own skill very easily, right? So we'll just call this, um, this is the format for a skill, right? And then make me a nano banana skill that uses Google nano banana to create uh, front end placeholder images when you're making a website. You probably haven't seen a skill used like this before, guys. Maybe you have, maybe I just don't really know what people use skills for, but I don't think a lot of people are using them like this. Then you wanna to go to AI Studio. You wanna click here, right? Make sure you're on Nano Banana Pro and then click on Get Code. 
And then let's just use rest here. So I'm just going to press copy. You can use any of these. I'm just going to use rest just because, um, yeah, it's the easiest. And then I'm going to paste this, right? This is the code to call, right? And then I'll just hit enter. So what this is going to do is it's going to take the, the YAML, right? Um, this like setup here, right? I'm just going to say output in a code box, please. So I can code box, I can copy and paste. So it's going to use this structure and it's going to, there we go. Perfect. So this is what you want. You want this exact structure where you can just press copy code right here and yeah, you'll be able to basically output this entire project, right? So I'll just let this finish. It has, it has kind of split things up, but it shouldn't matter too much, right? I should just be able to just grab this anyway, like that and then copy it and then control A, control V like that. There we go. We have our nano banana skill, right? And then I'm just going to do another one. So I'm just going to front end dot MD, right? And then I'm just going to go on Google type front end skills anthropic. And I'm actually going to grab the front end skill. The way that you do this again is you just press raw on GitHub here, control A, control C to copy, control V to paste. And now we have our two skills, right? So I'm just going to say, please activate the two skills and set up the nano banana skill so you can produce images when generating a website. This should create a .md file. This is in the wrong folder, so I'll just move this. Sorry, let's start again. I don't know how that goes to the wrong folder, no problem. You can kind of tell because it's like off center, right? So it's now read, it should have read both of these skills. Let's see. Yeah, you can see. So frontend.md has been read and nano banana skill.md is being read right now. I'm currently focused on how best to activate these skills. Fine. So now it's started. Okay, and now I've just added a .m file with my Gemini API key. I'm just going to say um, in a new folder, use both skills to create me a front page, home page of an Irish golf tournament directory and press enter okay guys so just be make sure that the skill itself actually has the code right because that skill didn't right so i'm just going to say read the new skill i just put up uh, with the exact code you need to create a nano banana image okay perfect so you can see here it just created this nano banana uh, generate.sh. So this is how it's going to actually create images. So I'm no longer going to be, I'm no longer going to have the issue of only being able to create five or 10 nano banana images. Instead, I'm going to be able to just create basically infinite of these images. So we'll see this in play in just a second. I'm just going to let this run guys. Hopefully this is just going to make quite a simple uh, project. I'm not looking for anything too complicated. I'm just trying to show you guys how to use the new skills inside anti-gravity. So yeah, you can see that the website is starting to come together now. We have index.html, we have these JPEG images right here, and we have the style, for example. And then they have this amazing feature that I absolutely love called walkthrough. So you can press open here. This one doesn't have a full walkthrough, but sometimes they have a even better walkthrough than this, where it shows you actual images, etc., from the project. And this is what we have, right? So, I mean, this looks pretty damn nice. Let me just stop this. This looks pretty nice, uh, really, really nice. Actually, you can see it's using the front end skill and it's also using nano banana across the website to make these images. So you can easily expand on this, right? So I'm gonna say, make this a hundred times more detailed and just let this run for a second. So yeah, in this case, you can see that the walkthrough actually has this kind of video, which is super, super interesting for Google. Absolutely cooking for sure. And yeah, this is kind of the end result. You can see this is all, um, it's just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but it just looks really, really nice. It has this beautiful finish, and it's all nano banana generated. And there's no limit on the nano banana as well, which is kind of the main thing. It's using the front end skills. You can see it's using um, the nano banana skill as well. And this is a massive game changer because you can also easily make predetermined workflows that use skills to just reinforce the point. So yeah, guys, I think I'll leave the video there. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're a legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.